Um, I moved over to Brisbane last year from Scotland. Uh, my partner got a job at UQ um, and we thought the weather sucks in Scotland, so <laughs> excellent opportunity to come and get some sunshine. And we're very welcome to have you because it's you. great <laughs> having two top level umpires because you both represented um, your countries at Commonwealth Games in Delhi. Yeah, that's right. And what other tournaments have you done in the last few years? Um, last few years, uh, Junior World Cup um, in Boston 2009, couple of champions challenge. Um, and the most recent one was the Olympic qualifiers in Japan. Yeah, I went to Venezuela to Barquisimeto for the Pan American Indoors. Um, really excited about going, but very poverty stricken area. Um, and we spent the, the week and a half camped up in a hotel with security guards, but very, very good tournament. Um, I started playing when I was 11, um, just when I started high school. Um, played in goals um, for the Scottish under-21 training squad um, until I was 21. Um, just picked up the whistle by accident, um, around about 18, 19. Decided I liked it and by 21 I thought I was too old for playing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so started umpiring, thought I'm better at that than, than being a goalie um, and then started doing that full time. And initially Janice MacDonald, who was the Scottish umpire who represented GB at the Olympics in Atlanta, um, she noticed me umpiring and took me under her wing um, and I still to this day um, have a lot of respect for her advice um, and more laterally I think you know her as PB, um, <laughs> Jan Hadfield. We won't explain that. No, I, I call her boss um, <laughs> and since being in Brisbane she's been massive help immeasurably and widely recognised as one of the best um, umpires managers in the world and I think we were really lucky to have her here and get a lot of fantastic advice. My aspirations were um, possible selection for London, um, I was on the short list for that but um, it wasn't to be and that's not a problem. <laughs> um, so I think now the, the next World Cup, um, which is in 2014 in Holland, and then hopefully Brazil um, 2016. Okay, and then maybe if you're still in Brisbane, the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast? Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, I'm hoping I'll still be in Brisbane then, yeah. Mm. Um, and who, who knows what happens next? I think, well, I think one of the, the, the rules that, that sometimes is misunderstood is the, the difference between a lifted ball and a dangerous ball. You hear a lot of shouts from the sideline when a ball's lifted maybe this high or, or waist height. Um, umpires only really blow those if it's dangerous, so there, there is no lifted rule. Um, it's, it's only based on danger, so if someone has to take evasive action, like has to really move out of the way, then yes, we would blow that for danger. But if something just comes into to waist height or goes into a channel, um, umpires won't blow that. Sometimes difficult for the players to, to understand that, but the, the umpires have maybe got a different view of the ball and it, again, will only blow if it's, if it's dangerous. I think at, at some point um, I'll start to wind down and look at umpires managing as well, but I'm hopefully a long way off. And that's what that. you actually, um, we're at the Super League tournament doing this yep. interview, that's what you're doing this weekend? Yeah, I'm coaching, I'm, I'm a little bit injured this weekend, so um, I'm out helping my, my colleagues. Um, it's interesting having to umpire with them one week, give them...